Hello and welcome back to episode 39 of Pokemon Arceus. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So today, I figure we'll start by going after a Will of the Wisp. Um, which, when I looked at the quest description, I thought it was going to be those purple wisps that I've been grabbing up indiscriminately off camera. Um, but this appears to be something else. So let's see what's going on. And yes, at the end of the previous episode, I said this would be episode 38, but that's because I lost count, which happens. So it is, it's over there in nature's pantry. All right. Well, I guess we could have gone to the other camp then. Off we go. I guess we could look at the uh, quest description since I did that off camera, huh? Hello? There it is. Catch the Will of the Wisp on wind Windswept Run to prove to Waka that she's telling the truth. And it's, and it's red, so that's how we know that it's not a wisp. And also, how we know that I don't pay enough attention when I read those things. <clears throat> so, we need to be at night time. So, we'll do that. I spent some time in between recording sessions working on filling out that Pokedex. Um, <laughs> I spent most of it hanging out with Eevees because um, although most of their forms are a... Uh, an evolution stone kind of situation, um, there are a few forms that you need high friendship and... I was under the impression that I could make friends with Pokemans by throwing them at things, but I'm kind of starting to think that it's just, um, it's just winning fights that increases friendship. I don't know if that's something they changed in a patch or what. Oh, it's a Chimchar. You're not a Will-o'-the-Wisp at all, but you also don't belong there. Are we going to fight? We're going to fight. I have some real bad news for you, Chimchar. Because, uh, that's right. I've got False Swipe. It's super effective. It's for 20 whole points. Alright, and you, you can just get in the ball. So is it just my bad memory, or did the ball used to actually bounce off the mans before catching them? I mean, not in this game. I think it's always been this way. Go back to Pyra. Oh, we gotta gotta deal with this first. Is it you? It's you. Um, yeah, I feel like in other games I had this idea that the ball bounced off the target. And I, of course, am carrying around a Galbat because I need to make friends with it in order to evolve it. And, um, Decidueye was a poor choice. Should have gone with Alakazam. All right. Are you ready to get absolutely demolished, Golbat? I like how we can get all of these weird perspectives on the fights now. You know what? Get psychic. Yeah, good night. And now I can fast travel. But why would I fast travel when the, the thing is right here? The loading screen probably takes longer than the run. Maybe not. Oh, 
am I doing? I'm talking to Leventon. Need to go back to town. I don't really want to... Oh yeah, look at that. I got my ninth star. It's just a matter of picking up points, onesies, twosies, as I was working on the Pokedex. No big deal. But it's going to take 30,000 points to get to the, to the tenth star. And I only have 30,000 points. That's a crazy step up. Especially when you're only getting them 10 at a time. Pyra is in Jubilife. Well, I guess even if she's not. Um, uh, oh, was she? She was in the Crimson Mirelands, was it? No, she wasn't. All right. Stop doubting yourself. And, uh, oh, Wisp Child. Do I have more Wisps for you? 71? Yeah. Reaper Cloth. I think that Reaper Cloth put, could maybe be a hint about what we're going to get in the end. Have you come to show me the Will of the Wisp I saw? Um, well... I can show you a will. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure this is the one that you saw. Yeah. There you go. He's got a little poo on his head. And now he's going to run away and burn down the damn village. So it was a Pokemon all along. Yeah, huh? In any case, you caught it just like you promised. The Survey Corps really are a talented bunch. Now I just have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. Say hi to Lulu for me. Gah. Uh, whoa, 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 Will of the Wisp. No, save me, sis. Ah, he even kind of looks like Waka, doesn't he? There we go. Oh, and we're laughing. That's cute. Alrighty. What shall we do next? Eerie apparitions in the night? Nope, that's the big one. Hippopotus? Don't think so. Nope. Yeah, let's do this one. And for this one, we need to go to the big building. Ugh, my eyes are tired. And that uh, low frame rate when I pan the camera is hurting my face. This is definitely going to be another one episode recording. Just got to not do it in the middle of town. I think that's probably why the environment is so sparse is the engine just can't really handle a bunch of stuff going on. Hello. Are you a nurse? Ah, you're here for my request about Krogunk. A member of the Diamond Clan told me that they can make medicine by diluting Krogunk's poison. Are they homeopaths? They better not be homeopaths. I do not approve of homeopathy. It's nonsense. Medicine made from Krogunk's poison can apparently le relieve pain in the lower back. They totally are. That's homeopathy. I'd love to give some... I'd love to have some to give Buck, the poor gentleman's bedridden, from back pain. I know how to make the medicine, so all I need is some help getting my hands on Krogunk poison. Head to the Crimson Mylands and catch me a Krogunk, would you? Oh. Well. Will you let me have a Krogunk? Sure. I, I bet I got one in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. So this is Krogunk. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? Uh, I think he looks like a little shit, but suit yourself. I need a smidgen of your poison, please, Krogunk. Would you be so kind? Krogunk's Kro like, we just met, lady. Buy me dinner first. Grunk. Thanks very much. Now to whip up that medicine. All you have to do is to dilute it so heavily that there's none actually left in the container. And then, and then think real hard. There we have it. This ought to be super effective. 
Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? I bet we'd be able to help an even greater range of people and Pokemon if we could set up some kind of aid facility where Pokemon work side by side with us. You you are. You're you're the proto nurse. You just need to go and find a uh, a chancy to hang out with. And then learn the little the little ditty. Of course we'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. I'm starting to think the Survey Corps work will help us in ways people aren't even aware of. Pacell, my poor back, it's screaming. One minute, I've got a medicine that ought to be a great help. And then she just goes in there and wangs him over the head with a frying pan. Looks like we'll have Buck back up on his feet again, thanks to you and Krogunk. Alright, well, so far these haven't been super fun to watch, have they? Maybe... I don't know about that one. Now let's... That means it ought to be perfect, right? I'll just go over there and I'll fuck it up and that'll be some content. So I need to... Well, he's standing right by a camp. I can do it when I get there. So we're going over here. And I believe it is the Myrlands camp. And I'm going to teach this fellow that the key to Pachirisu, Pachirisu battle strategy <coughs> is to have an alpha Pachirisu. But first we have to put everyone else away. That Stantler is waiting his turn to be my friend so that he can turn into a Wordeer because somehow I don't have any Wordeers except the one that I ride around on and he doesn't count. Why does he not count? Um, game reasons. Oh, come on, Golbat. Don't be like that. Um, there he is. Level 40, Alpha Pachirisu. There. Now let's see what happens. Ready to show me what Pachirisu can do? Let's see it battle against a mighty Ursaring. Watch and learn. That's the spirit, now follow me. He's like a ground type, isn't he? This is not a very good matchup for Pachirisu, is it? But I have the level advantage. All right, let's play rough. How do you like that? Oh, well, that was, that was rude, wasn't it? Um... Yeah, now I'm going to strong play rough with you. Good night. How do you like that, guy? Astonishing, that really was amazing. You defeated an Ursa Ring with a Pachirisu. And your Pachirisu was so pumped up and eager for battle, it looked like it was fearless. You directed Pachirisu with such a plum in battle it was clear how well you understood it. I guess all the work you Survey Corps members put into learning about Pokemon does pay off. But we won't be outdone. We'll work hard to reach that same level of understanding. Pachi. Alright, well, I, once again, I guess I overpromised and underdelivered there. What is next? Watering with care? Sure, we'll go to the Bogbound camp. I think that's on this map even. But first, first I had better remember to get my team back. And you. You can go right back in the alpha pile. 
which I'm probably going to get rid of soon because I realize that I don't really care about alphas all that much. Um, I I might reconsider that before I get rid of them all. But right now it kind of looks like alphas are not all that cool, really. I mean, I guess maybe they're interesting because they know moves that they can't normally learn. Maybe that's Maybe that's it, but I mean, yeah, before I shoot off my mouth, I ought to actually check out their stats. Um, they, they come with like some slightly better effort values, but if that really is the only difference, then, you know, who cares? All right. And he's just right over there. That's where I find Turtwig. That's why he, that gets a marker. Look at all those satchels. That'll give me something to do in between episodes. When I... When I ought to be... Uh, chasing Pokedex stuff. Are you Odo? You don't look like Odo. You've got a nose. I've been waiting for you, Kid-O. Let's get down to business. Have a look at that pseudo Wudo. Yeah, there he is. It was looking pretty listless, so I gave it a whole feast of berries. Seems pretty energetic. But even though it gobbled them up, it still se seems like it has no energy at all. Isn't that odd? So then I figured it must be parched. After all, it's like a plant, right? So it must need to be watered. You injured it. You goober. So if we could just fire off a healthy water pulse at it, I'm sure it'd perk up in no time. It's a rock type. Um, actually, what, you don't agree, but plants love water. Bring me a Pokemon that can use Water Pulse so we can get pseudo Wudo feeling right as rain. I have to, do I have to give you a, a man? Because I don't, I have to give you a Pokemon. All right, well, who do I have that knows Water Pulse? A Goomy? I mean, there it is. I guess Goomies aren't that hard to get, but what are the other options? Oh yeah, you can have that goober. There you go. Have the slug thing. All right, get ready, pseudo Wudo. All your worries are about to be washed away for good, along with your life. Guess we're doing this. Wudo. New dough. Oh. I mean... Hmm. Why is he injured? He ought to be injured. Okay, well, I guess you're not going to get water pulsed again, but... Good night. Should I have caught it? Maybe I should have caught it. I don't have very many of those. Too late now. I know where to get more. Woo. Maybe it doesn't like getting wet? Dough. Is that it? Gosh, I guess I rained on your parade. Sorry, pseudo Wudo. Susu. And I'm sorry for making you a part of this, too. I thought I was helping, but when you get right down to it, I just didn't understand pseudo Wudo. Keep working hard on that Pokedex to educate poor fools like me, would you? Yeah, and, and when I'm done with that, I'm going to have to invent a printing press. Fifteen heavy balls? Bro, your sack must have been so uncomfortable. Alrighty, and... Oh yeah, this will be a good one. Um, is it here? It's in... Where is it? In the Mirelands. In the Crimson... Aren't I in the Crimson Mirelands? Ride on Ursaluna and follow the blue signals. How do I find a blue signal, though? What happens now? Huh? No? Why don't you want to dig? Dang it. 
I've literally never found anything with Ursa Luna, so this is, I think, going to be a little annoying. Alright, what do we got? I think I need a... I don't need a Gengar. What do I need? How do I... I thought the whole point of this team was for me to have coverage. Why don't I have... Oh, I have coverage, but I don't have super effective against everything. That's the deal. Alright, Stunk. I don't think I've caught very many of you, so you're going to have to get false swept. That's probably good enough, right? That's correct. Now. Dig for treasure. Okay, so I guess that's how that works. What is that? Do you see that? There's a person up there. Who are you? Diamond member. I could have sworn one of the Pokemon in that mass outbreak was a different color from the others. Cool story, bro. Nope, not you. So I need to find blue. Which is cool, because when I'm behind him, it's hard to see it. I'm, a, I'm about to have a problem here. Alright, Hippo. That's a Hippo Dun. That's the evolved form. Okay. Um... Golbat, I need you to get out of there. Okay, so what do we got? We'll deal with the Hippowden first. And then I'll see about ca oh, catching the Alpha Ghastly's going to be a pain, though. <sighs> Inconvenient. Just do it. You're gonna do it. And what have you got? Oh, my favorite. Yep, there he goes. Alright, Ghastly. I've decided that I am not going to catch you. Decided that I am not going to catch you. What I am going to do... Is annihilate you. Goodbye. Okay, so do I want this Hippowden? Do I care right now? I, uh, you know what? I don't. I don't care right now. You're just gonna have to get bonked, Hippowden. Good night. Maybe I'll come back and catch you later. Maybe. Is that? It is. Look at that. All right. Um. Decidui, I need you to be awake, please. Thank you. I've been able to do some pretty good restocking on account of I spent a lot of time running around in uh, the obsidian whatever lands. Do you see it? Okay. It's right there. Look at that. What a silly thing. Now, where's my goodie, please? Hmm? Oh, 
Where is it, though? Uh, will you just will you just let me do the thing, please? Huh? Oh, no effect. Cool. I picked the one guy that does no effect. <sighs> All right. Um, I'm bringing out Mantine then. Because I'm pretty sure that he'll clean all your clocks. And we'll start with you. Yeah, good night, Graveler. Wahoosh. Am I allowed to say that? Is that copyrighted? I'm going to assume it's not. And... Yeah, whatever. I like Mantine's call. His cool noise. Now where is it? Okay. Are you the are you the girl? You're not the girl. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause and I will come back when I find some blue markers. So yeah, be right back. Okay, so there you go. There's the there's the blue thing. So I guess maybe we're getting close or something. This is not Oh, is this? There she is. All right. A person, another real live human being, oh thank goodness. I mean, I roll through this region like every time I come here. I was on my way back to base camp when I got attacked by some wild Pokemon. What, here? In the Crimson Mirelands? There aren't any Pokemon here. I managed to get away from them, but I got completely lost when I was running, and um... Please, can you tell me how to get back home? Yeah, you just hit the minus button, and then you fast travel back to camp. And then you show your Pokemon to Professor Leventon, and then he takes you back to the village. And if you if you don't want to show him your Pokemon, then you're just you're stuck out here. That way, I see. Thank you so much. That's not the right way. Or I mean, this way, right? Of course, I knew you meant this direction. Return to Galaxy Hall and report to Zeke. Maybe we should, I don't know, follow Wanda. That one could have been set up better. Um, wander around the Crimson Mirelands on Ursaluna's back until you find the blue indicator. Was not anywhere in the quest description, and also it was a lousy idea. Look at that. A big haul. We might get 20 points this time. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, well... Back to the village. I guess, I guess that's what I get for completing Pokedex entries. Do you remember when I bought the lawnmower from this guy? Ultra Ball set? No. I uh, I bought another thing from him. I think it's like a washing machine or something. And I'm pretty sure I know why those are a thing now. I think they have to do with Rotom. Oh, look, Zeke, I, I see you found your sister. Wanda made it back home safe. 
Boy, am I glad I asked you. You're just as good as everyone says you are. Wanda is still new to the security corps, you understand, and she's a bit flighty at the best of times, so I can't help but worry about her. If it's not asking too much, do you think you could continue to keep an eye on her? Oh, stop it, Zeke. Oh, they're, they're not siblings. I just got unlucky this time, that's all it was. That's what you said, um, well, maybe. That's what you'd have me believe, but ever since we were kids, the instant I took my eyes off of you, you'd be lost somewhere in the bushes. Well, anyway, Vic, I do appreciate all your help, so thank you from me, too. I have a feeling there are going to be some more of those. But with that, we are all out of time for episode 30... 9. 39. So come back and see me again in episode 40 for m more looking for Wanda, maybe. Talk to you soon. <laughs>